is a community development corporation that was established in 1992 uh, in response to the civil unrest of that year. Community Build does community development through the eyes of youth. Youth and their families are our focus. We have a dual mission. Our mission is first to address the human capital issues, which really were reflected in the lack of education, training, and employment opportunities for the youth in the community. We also focus on commercial development because the area in South Los Angeles has suffered disinvestment for decades now. And at the time that we were established by uh, a group of African-American-led organizations, we felt those were the two primary issues that were not being addressed by other agencies. Baldwin Hills Village sits at the base of probably one of the most affluent communities, African-American communities in the country. And yet, the poverty rate, the school dropout rate, the uh, lack of employment, the unemployment rate is probably as high as any community in this country. So there's a real dichotomy there, and there's a real need for there to be the exchange and the appreciation by the youth of the community they live in, but also by the other community residents of the struggle that those in Baldwin Village have. The youth in our programs come from Baldwin Village, and they are in the gang prevention program, the gang intervention program, they're in our Project Save program. All of these are youth that others would call at risk. We feel that those youth have been put at risk, that they are not at risk by their own actions, but by the environment that they live in. Well, I think that one of the things that youth are very sensitive to is that if this, the area that they live in, if the nature is not even nurtured, if there is dirt and there is mud and there's no development and it's not safe and it's toxic, they recognize that if the environment is toxic, there's no way that their lives are not also impacted and suffering from that same toxicity. One of the community bill's commitments is to community development, particularly commercial development. One of the first redevelopment projects in this area in South Los Angeles along the Crenshaw Corridor was the redevelopment of Marlton Square. Marlton Square is a 22-acre site that is west of Crenshaw and south of King Boulevard. It sits and is adjacent to both one of the wealthiest areas in the state of, in the African American community as well as one of the poorest areas. It anchors those two communities. Marlton Square uh, was originally called Santa Barbara Plaza and it was adjacent to Crenshaw Shopping Center which was one of the first regional shopping centers in the state of California. That was in the late 50s, early 60s. I grew up in this community, grew up in this very area where we're standing, been able to shed a lot of insight in terms of what it used to be. It was a vibrant community. There was, all of these were shops that were open, men and women's high-end shops. There was the shopping plaza over there. Uh, there was stores, no other men's shops over here. It was just a real high-end, upscale community. I can remember when it was a vibrant, active, part of town place where you wanted to be when you were a young college graduate. This is where you wanted to live in this part of Los Angeles. It was a source of pride and it was a source of uh, community infrastructure. Over the years, particularly after the 1965 riots, uh, like so many communities in South Los Angeles, there was disinvestment with uh, commercial stores leaving, large stores leaving, being replaced by smaller stores that weren't able to really survive. And by the 1990s, by 1992, Marlton Square, which was then Santa Barbara Plaza, was in fact a blighted area. And it has been um, a blighted area now for over 20 years. One of the interesting conversations with a couple of the young folks involved is their entire life of memories of this particular area is that it was blighted. 
It's never been anything other than blight in their lifetime. There was a plan for commercial development as well as uh, numerous housing um, options from senior housing to single family housing to condominiums. Those projects got stalled and they have been stalled for some 20 years for any number of reasons. The youth in the community, anyone up to the age of maybe 22, 23, has walked past this area and seen no change for over 20 years. So while there are other developments, and certainly recently uh, a rash of developments along the Crenshaw Corridor, Marlton remains the reminder that there are areas that, is a reminder of a failure in the community promises that were not kept, needs that were not met. It is symbolic of what once was, what was lost, and what must be regained. The Sustainable Communities Program is a national model. Uh, it has designed a framework within which to identify all those things that are critical to having a healthy community. They have five objectives and Community Bill saw that as an opportunity to look at the Crenshaw Corridor and particularly Marlton Square uh, as an opportunity to design uh, a quality of life plan that incorporates those things. The objectives are to stimulate the local economy and create employment opportunities, to have better and meaningful education, to have affordable uh, housing, and to have healthy lifestyles. These are things that most communities take for granted, but after over 20 years of blight, to focus on Marlton Square with these five objectives in mind seemed to be a good way to revision something that had been sitting and is an open sore in our community. I got involved with Community Build actually a number of years ago when they chose to come into the Baldwin Village community to see how they could be of service to help us improve the quality of life. And they started by working with young people. That's how I first heard about them and got involved. And right now, I'm here at Community Bill working with a summer program with a group of young people dialoguing about what we can do and how we can be instrumental in coming up with some positive ideas about the Martin Square project. From the very first day, they just kind of took charge of the projects with the direction of the director here, uh, Kim, and they just got busy with the projects, they know what they like, they know what they want, they have ideas about the Marlton Square project. I was totally surprised. We often, um, the more mature adults feel that the young people don't have ideas and opinions about what they want in their communities. They have very definite opinions and ideas about what they want. I think we should listen, we should incorporate them in what we're doing, and it's been my pleasure to talk with them and actually get ideas from them and to learn that they know what they want. They know how to organize. We just have to include them in what we're doing and make them feel a part of what we're doing. And being here at Community Builds, they've brought me to tears just listening to what, listening to what they know that I didn't know that they know. They're smart. They have ideas and they're just sharp young people. We've sat around in our own little pigeonholes of the community and complained how terrible Marlton Square is, but nobody's been willing to rally any number of people together to do something about it. And I think that's one of the important things, again, that we're showing the youth, the real power that they have if they unite themselves toward a positive goal. When Community Build was given the opportunity by the Local Initiative Support Corporation to be one of three uh, corporations, community development corporations in Los Angeles to implement the Sustainable Communities Program, looking at developing a quality of life uh, plan for the Crenshaw Corridor and the Lamert Park District, Marlton Square became a primary objective.
what lessons from the past did the uh, youth supply to future development is to become aware of what was here before, what's been planned to be here now, and what should be here in the future. Put some real thought into it and get some real positive input from the neighboring community in terms of, of those things. What was here, what should be here, what will work best, here. not just for themselves, but for the entire community, things that will benefit everyone. Some of the th ideas that they've come up with, I had not even thought of. My Martin Square has a bowling alley, skating rink, restaurants, and bike paths. My Martin Square is a community resource and treatment center. My Martin Square develops new jobs. We really need to listen to them because what they bring to the table is often more valuable than what we had already put on the table. So I'd have to say, yeah, I'm in total agreement with their vision. My Martin Square has a fitness center and rooftop gardens. My Martin Square is green, respects nature, people, and sustains the community. My Martin Square has green jobs and hires from the community. I think one of the critical lessons from the past is to stay involved. That unless there is community involvement and uh, a sense of direction about what is to happen in the community, you allow others to come in and determine what the community will look like, what it will house, and who will be in control. My Martin Square is a cutting edge, environmentally sound environment. My Martin Square develops supportive housing for emancipated youth and college students. My Martin Square has a satellite community college that teaches science, technology, engineering, math, and health. Green is symbolic. It, it doesn't have to, it's not, it's not so literal, that it's symbolic of the future. It's a symbolic of being sensitive to the world that you live in, the symbolic to, in terms of being able to make change change old habits. The same way they teach us to be green and change our habits in terms of what we use and how we dispose of it, that's the same feeling that the youth have about the community. The sense that it can be changed and it can reflect a healthy lifestyle and it can reflect an embracing of all that is good in the community. I grew up not a stone's throw from here. I remember all the vibrant activities that were around here in and around Marlton Square. I want to make sure that I am part of that contribution that makes this some place that people want to come, make it a Mecca again. I am so proud of them and just uh, pr proud that Community Build is here and doing these things for the young people. Oh Lord, don't let me get all emotional. A sustainable community produces an outstanding quality of life for all its generations. Crenshaw Corridor, a quality of life plan, calls for a bold revisioning of Marlton Square. Any significant development in the Crenshaw District must provide services and spaces. Youth need to thrive. Now is the opportunity for youth to envision the Marlton Square that they will inherit. Incorporate green, economic, and education needs. And drive a new future. Anchored by healthy, green, and prosperous development. I am Martin Square! I am Martin Square. I am Martin Square. I am Martin Square! I am Martin Square! Riva Martin Square! We are hoping that people will appreciate that there are youth in this community who are prepared to take the responsibility of going forward, but they do indeed uh, need and deserve the opportunity to have sufficient resources to implement what they see.